Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. Um, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. It has been a while since I've made a video. So I really wanted to come on and, you know, make sure that I talk about something important. I know you guys haven't seen my face and I kind of missed you guys. So today's video, um, I've actually gotten a lot of views on my uh, video that I put out, I think it was last year, about my fraternity, Alpha Kappa Psi, and why I decided to join, and the great things that you can learn from that organization. I've gotten a lot of questions about it, and I've actually got a request to do a do's and don't for when you are planning to go to Rush. So, that's what this video is about, the do's and don'ts for rushing in Greek life. Let's get started. Okay, so the do's. Um, I know spring semester is coming up, which is a very, very important time for rushing Greek life. And I know it's super exciting. You got so many options. You got so many things that you want to look at. You know, there's so many different sororities and fraternities out there. So I can only imagine your excitement. I went through the same exact thing. And spring is the one of the most perfect times to get involved in all that. So my do's. What you want to do before you attend a rush is you want to do as much research as you can on the organizations that you are interested in. And I say this because you don't want to go there and not have any idea what the organization is about. Okay, so you want to make sure that you are doing your research, knowing what they're about, um, knowing their philanthropy, you know, what they do within the community, um, what they do as far as um, within the school community, you know, how they help their actual members, what they do on a weekly, monthly, yearly basis. So those are some great things that you want to make sure that you are in tune with and aware of before you join something that you aren't um, happy with. Also, um, when you get there, you want to make sure that you are dressing the part. So if you look online or you get a flyer about the first rush meeting and it says dress professional or um, dress casual or business professional or whatever it says, you really, really, really want to make sure that you are dressing the part for the event. That is very, very important. And I say that because these are little things that members are looking at when the rushies come in okay so you really want to make sure that you are paying attention to your dress attire very very important if you don't know how to dress a certain way definitely google it before the event make sure that you have everything that you need to look the part okay um also you want to make sure that you have a headshot photo ready so a little four by seven headshot professional dress of course, or, you know, very clean, nothing crazy, no crazy makeup, no crazy earrings, but just a clean look of your face and, um, you know, just something that stops to like right here of your face and you want to make sure you have that ready just in case they ask for it. Some of them don't, some of them do, but it's nice to have it ready so that when they do decide to make a decision, they have your face along with your um, resume, which we'll get into when it's time to make a decision so they know and remember who you are, okay? Now, to the resume, depending on the organization that you are getting into, you wanna make sure that you have your resume ready, everything is up to date, everything um, makes sense, there's no grammar errors, there's no um, mistakes, there's no mistakes in your length of time that you've been at a job or you know anything like that you want to make sure that everything is in place the way it's supposed to just in case they ask for it and like i said some of them do some of them don't so that kind of goes along with the research that you're doing so it's very very important to do your research also when you go to these events you want to make sure that you are participating that is very 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 important if you don't participate how are they going to know who you are right so if there are some activities that they have you guys do and they want someone to speak up or they want someone to answer this question or answer this question, please participate. I know it is nerve-wracking. I 
no, okay? I am like so shy when it comes to that. I get so much anxiety because I feel like, oh my God, all eyes are on me. But you can do it because once you stand up and you say, you know, your name and you introduce yourself and, you know, you answer the question, you feel so much better when you sit down because you know that they know who you are now. They have a face to your name. And the next time you speak to them, they'll know that you've participated. So that is a plus, plus, plus all the way, okay? So you really want to make sure that you participate when you go to these events. Um, also, have a plan for when you're in the organization. So nothing major, nothing like, oh, what's your five-year, ten-year plan? If you want to do all that, go for it. I commend you all the way. But just a very small plan for what you want to do while you're inside the organization. So... Um, let's say you want to join a social organization and one of your plans are to have a fundraiser on campus to help raise money for um, AIDS research. That's a good plan. You know, simple fundraisers, um, simple little activities that you can do on campus or off campus, you know, little things like that to really show the members of the organization that you are dedicated to helping the community, which is what most organizations are about, which is what, which is what most Greek life is about. So that is a plus. You really want to make sure that you have some kind of plan to help others within the community, within your school community, or um, just anywhere, okay? So have a plan in the back of your mind, write it down or something like that. So when they do ask you, you know, you can let them know, and you can kind of have something to work towards. So it's a little small goal, which helps me feel better. So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, what else? You want to make sure that you attend as many events as possible. Usually Rush is about um, three days to a week long, depending on the actual school, depending on the actual chapter, and depending on the actual organization. So once again, you want to make sure that you are following your organization's Instagram, uh, social media. You want to make sure that you're following um, any kind of flyers that they give out. Really pay attention to these things because they do um, express information about Rush and they let you know how many days, where it's going to be, the time, the attire, you know, things like that. So you really want to make sure that you're paying attention weeks, maybe even months before Rush so that you are fully prepared. Um, you have the time to attend the events, you have the attire, you have everything that you need, you have all the research, you have all your plans, so on and so forth. So attend as many events as you can, get your name out there, get your face out there, um, really show your interest, really show your plans, and um, get to know as many people as you can. I know how nerve wracking that is. It's scary sometimes, especially if you have anxiety like myself, you just don't know what to say to people, how to say it. You don't want them to think that you don't know anything or you're not, you know, whatever the case may be. It can be scary, but, you know, just start with a hi, my name is, and then go into that. And just go from one person to the next person to the next person. Try to reach as many people as you can at these events because these are ultimately the people that are making this, are making the final decision on whether or not they would want to have you a part of their organization and also you are just getting to know people even if you don't get in um, you know don't give up of course but at least you have a new friend or you have someone that you have um, similar interest in or maybe even met someone that's in your class and you didn't even know they were in this organization or, or you know there's many different things that you can come across when you're speaking to someone people are interesting once you get to know them so definitely start getting to know um, as many people as you can when you go to these events learn as much as you can um, most of the events held by the organizations have some kind of topic based on it so it could be um, racial inequality it could be homelessness it can be um, feeding children it could be HIV in the community it could be about kids, it could be about students, it could be about social anxiety, depression, like there's usually some kind of concept or topic behind the events, depending on the organization. So definitely learn as much as you can because these are some great topics. Um, 
once you get in there, you'll see these are some great topics that really need to be talked about. And it's a lot of great information that you can move forward to possibly create a fundraising event for or some kind of event for that you can help within the community. So really great. Learn as much as you can. Make sure you're dressing the part or you have your full attire. Make sure you have your resume ready. Make sure that you're participating as much as you can, as much as you can. Just try, take yourself out of your comfort zone. I promise you will not regret it, okay? Um, definitely do your research. Definitely take your notes while you're there. Very, very, very important because you will have some members who, when they speak, they introduce themselves. Um, they let you know a little bit about themselves. You really wanna make sure that you know that because you wanna make sure that you know as many people in this organization as possible when it comes to members, because when you are speaking to them, you can kinda of ask the questions based off of that. So for example, let's say, you know, Sammy is a part of an organization that I'm interested in and she gets up and introduces herself. Hi, my name is Sammy. I am a junior here at the University of Central Florida. I have a major in human communications and I am the treasurer within blank organization so that's something that you really want to jot down so that when you see her when it's time to actually gather um, after the meeting and speak to everyone for a couple of minutes you can say hi Sammy I remember you said that you were a human communications major what is something that you actually want to get into in the future what do you see yourself doing you know things like that that's something that you can ask or um, start the conversation off on so Definitely take your notes and have fun. Make sure you have fun. I know it is an extremely intense time during Rush, but it can also be a fun time to get to know everyone, to get to know other Rushies that are around you, to just get to know as many people as you can. Make some friends. You never know what can happen. Even if things don't go your way, you walked away taking yourself out of your comfort zone. You walked away with a plan to help the community that you can still accomplish without being in an organization. You walked away with some good research on organizations, on what they do, so maybe you can try again. You walked away with some information on people that you didn't know yesterday. And you also walked away participating in something that can ultimately be a benefit within the community just in case you decide to create your own event or your own fundraiser so there's pluses and pluses and pluses to doing all of these dues for rush okay now let's get into the don'ts okay pay close attention to these don'ts because these are very very important <laughs> okay so my don'ts when you are attending a rush event um, try to refrain from bringing a bunch of friends with you. I know it is nerve-wracking to go by yourself and you want to have some people with you to make you feel better. I understand that. However, do not bring two, three, four of your friends with you. You're all in the group. It's all obvious that you're all friends and you know, you're not breaking up your joints at the hip and things like that. Don't do that. Don't do that. The members are watching that. They see that you have brought a whole bunch of people with you. It's not a good look. I promise you. So if you do want to bring one or maybe two of your friends, that's completely fine. However, when you get to these events, you want to make sure that you're splitting up and you are each talking to someone individually. You're not making it obvious that you are friends. You're not making it obvious that you're joint at the hip. You're not making it obvious that you're nervous and you don't want to talk to anybody and you can't talk to anybody by yourself. So if you want to bring two friends, you can do that, but I really recommend that you don't bring more than two friends with you. Don't, you know, stay close knit the entire time. Definitely branch out, get to talk to, getting to know other people. And um, I think that was it. Yeah, that was it on that topic. Okay. Um, don't just go in there and wing it. Don't go in there with no research. Don't go in there, you know, not taking any notes, thinking that you're going to remember everything.